Good morning and welcome back to Norbert's Adventures. Uh, it's currently quarter to eight in the morning, so I've been up for about an hour. Um, spent most of yesterday afternoon picking out Cory eggs from my uh, couple of tanks, um, trying to add a new method of incubation and see if they uh, work. So uh, I'm up quite early this morning because I was checking on them, uh, making sure they were kept at a nice temperature. So uh, yeah, today we're going to talk about setting up a new shrink tank. Uh, my patience level was waiting around for some things is not as great as it used to be. So uh, as soon as I looked at new uh, substrate, one got some, got two new tanks. I've been sitting on these two tanks for about a week now. Um, I got them last Tuesday after the last video we did regarding uh, shrimp substrate. Uh, I, after some consultation with some people, I've ended up going with the uh, Amazonian uh, ADA substrate. Um, not too sure how that goes, but I heard a lot of good things. So we're going to go with that substrate uh, this time for these two tanks uh, and basically see how it goes. Uh, obviously it's worth a try. Uh, no, it's an active it, it lowers the pH to about 6.6 apparently um, obviously it's going to be an interesting thing to try out really going to need to learn to turn off that light when I do these videos because I'm sitting here staring at the camera and all I can see is that light so uh, yeah that's off for now I will get back into the video eh? um, coffee morning good Obviously, with a shrimp tank setup, you need a couple of things. A tank is good to start off with. Uh, filter, heater, and substrate. Uh, obviously, I've explained before, I'm going with the ADA Amazonian substrate. Uh, I ended up picking up uh, two of the Petworks tanks. Um, there's diameters. So it's about 39 liters all up for both these tanks. Um, comes with a lid and everything as well. Uh, the long and skinny, which is good for me because I can set it up on the bottom of my rack. I will uh, take a photo and show it here for you. Um, but yeah, so these two tanks are long, skinny, good enough for uh, a two foot um, light to sit on top as well. So it gives plenty of light. Uh, heater wise, I'm going with the Aqua One 100 watts, um, going the more the bigger size one as I find that the bigger they are the less time they're on um, I also use these with most of my tanks as well because it's got the better system with uh, showing what the degrees is um, where some of them have them on the top and out of over time wear and tear uh, kind of rubs it off so I go on with these ones because I enjoy these um, as for the filtration system uh, as many of you would who would be following me no, I was running the uh, was it Canvi um, QS200 inside my Panda, which now is my Snow White tank. Uh, I've been running that probably about two months, three months now. Have not had a single issue. Um, so with that being said, I've decided uh, after winning an auction on Shrimp Traders, I ended up getting uh, two of the QS100 A's and two of the QS uh, 200 A's. So I've got these two, uh, I'm gonna be throwing one of these in each tank. Uh, I was doing some research on these, uh, apparently they can go up to, uh, was it 15 gallons? Anything above 15 gallons, these is great for. So I'm running one of these in a, what, 18 liter tank. So over filtration to the max for that tank, but these, these obviously will be great for the 39 liters. Um, Again, I'm going to go with the uh, search of matrix for the inner, inner workings of the uh, filters, um, as that's you know 20 times the biological matter inside those rocks. Um, and again, I haven't had any issues with those uh, that brand of stuff. I know there's a few stuff out there, uh, but stick with what you know, I guess. So that's what I'm running with. 
Well, I've uh, just finished unwrapping the uh, two tanks. Uh, I have laid the substrate down in them. Um, it's already very different to the stuff I've used before. Um, obviously, I had to break open the bag to get the substrate out. But there you go, Amazon, Amazonian version 2. Um, inside that bag, you've got a... So a supplement bag, um, it's got some of these supplement stuff, apparently it's very nutrient rich. Um, you know, obviously if you don't open the bag up and find the instructions, you don't know what's going on. So basically uh, for every nine liters, you put like five, uh, 50 mil or something in. Um, so I just winged it through 10 pieces into each tank and then basically laid over the substrate over the top. Um, with this substrate you don't need to wash it beforehand um i made sure to read the instructions before i even worried about that uh if you're running any bacta or um b salt or anything like that uh it's recommended to throw it on the bottom uh before you put the substrate on um for myself uh, i got some of the uh b salt uh remineralizer from um marty so this is the uh, a, a, a sample uh, kit that he sent me. So I'm giving that a shot today. Uh, apparently it's uh, really good. Um, bumps the TDS up to 100. Um, the GH to 4 and the KH to 0.1. Uh, so I threw a few scoops into there, into the tanks. Um, I think it comes with a small micro spoon as well. So I threw like three or four of those into the tank. Obviously, you're supposed to put that into the RA water before you put it in the tank, but obviously I'm not putting anything in there until it recycles, so I thought I'd throw it in there, see how it goes. Um, obviously, these the bee shrimp stuff comes in containers. Um, so this sample bag is, was really a pain in the ass to get into, uh, especially with the micro spoon. I ended up having to rip the bag open. Um, ended up throwing the excess stuff into another uh, container I had left over. Um, and that's got a, a satchel in there as well to keep it dry. So I've basically done that. I've thrown RO water into the, one of the first tanks. So now I've got to wait for this uh, RO to replenish so I can fill up the second tank. Um, we're going to go through basically setting up the Quan V's again. Um, with the search of Mac matrix. And basically then I will let the tank sit uh, for probably a day once the RO is all in there, just so everything settles. Um, but then you also you know, put the heater in there, you put the sponge filter in there, and then basically you just wait for it to settle, turn it all on, say in a day's time, and then just wait for it to cycle. Uh, so it's pretty simplistic in regards to setting up a uh, shrimp tank. Um, I'm not gonna go through and showing you how to put in this a sponge filter or a, a filter inside the tank or how to put a heater inside the tank um, Obviously if you're at this point now where you're looking at how to set up a tank or how to set up a shrimp tank You should know how to do those simple tasks um, I say simple, but you know may not be um, but Yeah, so we'll jump on with the QV. We've gone through these before uh, Well once before regarding the QV um, QS 200s uh, obviously when we set up the snow white tank, but um, just wanted to make sure that you know you are you guys know what they look like Well, I can taste the salt make sure you wash your hands after you use salt stuff. You don't want any of it ending up in your mouth Which I hope that's not the case, but it tastes a bit fishy <laughs> but yeah, so Obviously when you get these out they come all in the package um, So you've got to put it together um, Basically I first thing I do is take off um, these and then you uh, put on the canister bits for the uh, matrix so it ends up like that um, obviously you don't have to take the filters off the black things I just do it because I stuffed up uh, so yeah obviously you grab the matrix you can fill it up all the way to the brim or you can fill it up to whatever level you want um, just depends on how much you got and all that sort of stuff. You can obviously use uh, the noodles, um, 
that some people would use for their sump systems or the ca but you know obviously we like this stuff because it's more the rocks and it's better for them uh, that I find anyway so once the rocks are in there you throw on the top bits sponge filters do it on both sides so obviously don't force anything because you don't want to break anything um, but yeah obviously that one you throw in on the nozzle and make sure everything's the right way because it ends up looking funny if you don't Doo -doo -doo. then obviously you got the suction caps as well you got to find um, and then they, they basically clip on as well Um, with here as well, you've also, these guys have got a no, uh, hole, so you can uh, thread the airline through the, this bit here onto the nozzle bit. Uh, I think that's more a bit more of a sort of housekeeping sort of thing uh, to make sure everything's tucked away and looks neat and tidy. But yeah, so once you've all connected them all in, you're ended up with a piece of equipment that looks like this. Obviously, um, these will move around once the bubbles go through them and such um, you know obviously I, you can fill it all the way up the top halfway whatever you want to do um, with the nozzle bit as well you can make it taller shorter whatever you want to do um, so it's pretty adjustable um, and I, I like these things since I've been using it in the snow white tank uh, definitely find this you know bacteria in these guys holds a lot so um, I'm going to throw these in those 39 litre tanks and see how we go. Just quickly as well, uh, regarding the uh, Quan V sponge filters, um, if you're going to do it and fill up the uh, bio bits and the, uh, the green bits, make sure you fill it up to begin with. Um, I've just tried to pull it apart and it was a bitch to pull apart. Um, if it wasn't the fact I had some sort of nails, to get it off, so I'd probably end up having to use a knife or a spoon or something to pop it open. Um, so obviously, when I was clicking it before, that's really holding it, uh, holding it seal. So if you're gonna do that, make sure you fill it up first, so you don't have to go back to do it again. Because obviously, when there's water and stuff on it, it's gonna get slippery and it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, but yeah, so pro tip there. With the uh, Amazonian um, sub shade as well, there's a few sort of key points that it points out in the back of the uh, box, uh, sorry, the bag. Um, obviously, you don't put it under gravel filter system on it, otherwise, because it, it kicks up a whole bunch of crap. Um, it doesn't want you putting uh, sort of any other gravel on top of it as well. Um, Obviously, I'm not too sure behind the reasoning behind that. That's what I'm reading on this. Uh, the, it says the, um, the nine liter bag, which I got, uh, is good for a uh, 60 uh, wide, 20, uh, sorry, 30 deep and a 36 centimeter high tank. Uh, apparently that's what the nine liter bag is designed for. Um, I've obviously split the bag into the um, two tanks with the uh, 50 centimeters by 26 by 30 centimeters um so obviously there's not much difference there but obviously when you're talking about literage and stuff it is a little bit of different um i'm guessing it's more designed for the sort of thicker base uh with the substrate um i found that the sort of the granule size of these guys is a lot smaller than the shrimp sand stuff um i'm not going to give you the exact millimeter of the granule because that's just pointless um so but yeah i've heard this stuff is great for uh, obviously planted tanks and is great for shrimp tanks. Um, so obviously because it's a more natural based stuff, um, it does contain a high can concentrate nutrients, uh, apparently does leach ammonia for the first however many days. Uh, so if you do use this stuff, make sure you let the tank sit before you worry about that and make sure it's gone before you put any uh, shrimp inside that uh, tank. Um, also got a warning on the bag saying if you find any sort of sticks or anything else, get it out with a, a yarn net. So um, overall, it's I reckon this is probably one of the easiest sort of su uh, substrates to throw straight into the tank. Um, talking about sort of 
cycling a tank it'd probably be a bit easier as well using this stuff because obviously it's got an ammonia uh so ammonia and all that sort of stuff in the in the uh, substrate already which will help the tank cycle um obviously in the next coming weeks i'll show you how this tank these tanks sorry uh develop uh but because of the nutrients are already in these uh, substrate hopefully it won't take too long and we can get it up and running and uh, can throw some plants in there going forward well that's it for today um, I'm going to leave the tanks the way they are I'm obviously going to throw some more RO water into the second tank uh, once I have some more RO water in my system out back um, I'm going to get some more search and, uh, matrix to throw into the other Quan uh, V filter and I'm going to let it sit today. Uh, I'll worry about the filter and the heater later on. I've got to set up uh, some more power boards over there as well. Um, air system's all there, as I've shown in previous videos, all's there. I've just got to connect it all up. Um, obviously, if you want to know anything uh, or want to ask me questions about how I did things or whatever else, uh, send me a message, comment below. Um, I'm probably going to make this into a sort of mini series um, going forward obviously with the way the tank's set up and the way how long it takes and all that sort of stuff so we can get an ideal picture of how long it actually takes to set up a tank with this Amazonian substrate um, but as always make sure you like and subscribe and I shall see you next video